Chapter 9, Overcoming Disabilities, Part 1. Last time I told you a little bit about hearing. Earlier, Dr. C.U. told you about eyes and vision. Today, I would like you to think about what it would be like if you couldn't hear or couldn't see. Millions of people live with poor hearing or with no hearing at all. These people are deaf. Imagine, if you can, what it would be like to be completely deaf. How would you know what other people are saying? After all, you could not hear their words. Many deaf people use sign language. Sign language is a way to communicate without speaking. One person makes signs with her hands that stand for words and letters. The other person sees the signs and understands the message. The two women in this picture are using sign language. Did you know that there is a gesture or sign in American Sign Language for each letter in the alphabet? See if you can spell out your name using the signs shown on the next page. Sign language is one way deaf people can communicate. There are also other ways. Some deaf people can read lips. That means they carefully watch a person's lips move as he is speaking. They can tell what the person is saying by looking at how his lips are moving. How? A person's lips take on different shapes and positions as he says different sounds. Try looking in the mirror sometime while you are talking to see how your lips move. Someone who reads lips translates what a person is saying by studying the different shapes and positions of his lips. Isn't that amazing? It takes much time and practice to learn how to use sign language and how to read lips. Now, I'd like you to try to think what life would be like if you could not see. What would it be like to be blind? How would you find your way around? How would you read? Blind people find ways to live with their disability. Many blind people use a cane to help them get around. By tapping in front of them, they can tell where there are walls. They can tell when they need to step up and when they need to step down. Some blind people use seeing eye dogs to help them get around. These dogs are also known as guide dogs. They are specially trained to help blind people get from place to place safely. Blind people can also learn to use their other senses to make up for their inability to see. A blind person can't tell what you look like, but he or she may be able to recognize you by your voice. Blind people can also learn to read using a system called Braille. In the Braille system, raised bumps that a person can feel are used to stand for letters. A blind reader touches and runs her fingers over the dots and recognizes letters. Then she thinks of the sounds the letters stand for and blends the sounds together to read. Like lip reading or using sign language, it takes lots of time and practice to learn how to read using Braille.